everyone, it's Bev here, back with episode 2 of the Western Bulldogs AFL Evolution 2 Coach Career Series. Thanks to everyone that got behind the opening episode. The response was superb, so I thank you for that. And if you haven't checked out episode 1, please do before watching this video. Now, in episode 2, I'll be playing the round 3 and 4 games. So let's not muck around. Let's get straight to Marvel Stadium for our round 3 date against the Kangas. Go the doggies! So, North Melbourne have won 2 out of 2. Their first 2 games. So, those were against Port Adelaide and Gold Coast. So I'm expecting this to be a pretty tough encounter. As we take a look at the North Melbourne team, looks like all the regulars are in there, including the former Bulldog, Lockie Young. Of course, the former Pie, Jaden Stevenson, is there as well. Just the one change to the team that lost to West Coast in the last episode. Jeray goes out and Wallace goes in. Let's get it underway. Good Friday footy. Round four, North Melbourne and the Doggies. Come on, the Bulldogs. And Bonham Pelly, straight out of the middle, is off. Taking a few bounces. He's got uh, Norton, I think, over the top. Oh, how did he not mark that? Trelaw, though, with the crumb. What a goal. What a start for the red, white, and blue. Here's Turner. Plays it in the direction of Bonner. And then Bonner inside 52. A two-on-one situa situation, I should say. And Zerha, who's been in good form in real life. Has a chance to level the scores. Instead, he squares it up for Garner. Who I put in my AFL fantasy team a couple of weeks ago. And he let me down. But uh, he's kicked it. Just tap this on to Bon and Pelly. That would be, in fact, it's McRae. McRae loses it. Trelaw for two. Should kick this. Oh, what am I doing? Ball up, top of the goal square. Martin taps it down, trying to tap it down to McRae. Good bumping here from us. Trelaw's been taken high. So Trelaw to make it two goals. He should really have three. But he's got two. He's off to a flyer. Oh, gee, that worked out well. And Dunkley's got the footy. So Dunkley... To extend the lead for the dogs, and he does. Come on, the doggies. Martin taps it down. Trelaw. He goes Trelaw for three. For three. He's going to go all the way here for three. He's got it. Adam Trelaw. What a game he's having. McRae picks it up, and off he goes, McRae. Still going. Got Dunkley just inside 50 and hits him up. Oh, look at this. Is that... No, that's Bailey Smith. I thought it was Trelaw. In fact, who's that over the top? That's Wallace. Good bit of play. As the siren sounds for quarter time, this to increase the margin even larger. Wallace has been brought into the team. Slots it through. Good on you, Mitchy Wallace. And the dogs are all over North Melbourne early in this game. Oh, Jamara! What a mark! What a mark that was from Jamara. Can he kick his first goal off the game? I think he can. I think he can. Yes, he can! It holds its line and goes through. Come on, the doggies! And then he looks inside 50 towards centre half forward, but Dale, that's a good intercept mark. And then he goes off to Wood. Now Wood kicked it and was tackled as he kicked it. North Melbourne are back inside 50 now. I'll get him. Oh, that's a good goal from Taylor. Here's Johannesson. He's got. Is that Trelaw leading? Yes, it is. Couldn't mark it though. Applies the bump. Goes in for another tackle, Adam Trelaw. Gee, he's having a good game. The Western Bulldogs hold a 26-point lead at the halftime break. Two straight 12 to 6 to 38. Jamara Hagen is off here. Takes a few bounces. 
He's got pressure coming for him, but that doesn't stop him from kicking it through the middle. The Dogs have started off this second half in fine style. McDonald uh, gives the handball away. Another handball inside 50 from North Melbourne. And Garner, who's already kicked one, will have a shot for two. And for North Melbourne's third goal of the game. It's going. It's looking good. It sneaks through. Now, that kick wasn't great. And Wallace receives a handball. Oh, gee, tackled. Doesn't matter, though, because Bruce is going to finish it all off. Yes, he does. Good on you, Brucey. Would love to hit this to McRae. Good stuff, Martin. Kick forward. Good spoil by Wallace. Applied the tackle. A lot of tackling going on here, but Mitch Wallace is off. Handballs it to Dunkley. Dunkley gets it. Come on, the doggies. <gasps> McRae! What a mark that was. He deserves to slot this goal through after taking that ripper dipper hanger. Let's have a look from a not from a tough angle. Gets it. Oh, Jamar has just been given the footy on a plate. And the siren goes. I think he's already kicked a Has he kicked a goal after the siren? No, he hasn't. That was uh, Mitch Wallace after the after quarter time. But Jamari Yugo Hagen can slot through another. He does. Big boy Jamara having a good game. He's got three. Doggies destroying the Kangas. Let's finish it off, Doggies. This has been a complete performance. Goldstein beats Martin. North Melbourne end up with possession here. Could kick the first of the final term, and they do. Ben Cunnington. The goal kicker. So Eastern Wood playing on. Smith. To Bonham Pelly, who receives a handball, and off he goes. Now, Bonham Pelly's got Dunkley, who takes the mark and goes in the direction of Norton. Norton to Bonham Pelly. This is good play. This is really good play. That's a good mark. Johannesson. How good was that bit of play? That could be. One of the best plays of the series. Definitely so far as Johannesson finishes the job off nicely. The doggies are barking and woofing loudly. North Melbourne back in possession now. And they're handballing it nicely, although it's intercepted again by Trelaw. And he gives the don't argue and sends it the way of Easton Wood, who kicks it to Smith. Now Smith plays on, goes for goal and gets it! Oh, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Oh, that was beautiful. Bottom Pelly now kicks it to space. Dunkley can run onto it. He has no pressure whatsoever, although there is some pressure coming for him now. And as he picked up the footy, he was tackled. Why would you kick it there? What is North Melbourne doing? Are they... Have they been paid to lose or something like that is a shocking kick and Jamara Yugo Hagen is going to make North Melbourne pay that's his fourth he's having a ripper an absolute ripper is the pick number one North Melbourne reduced the margin not going to help them though the dogs have already won into the centre square Eastern Wood tries to shove his opponent out of the way kick inside 50 marked by Stevenson just marked before the siren went. And he makes no mistake, Jaden Stevenson, the former pie. But that goal doesn't matter because the doggies have won. The doggies have absolutely destroyed North Melbourne this afternoon at Marvel Stadium. Doggies, doggies, doggies. Bark, bark, bark. Go the doggies. To the final score. North Melbourne, 6-1-37, defeated by the Western Bulldogs, 14-8-92. There's the final match stats. We destroyed North Melbourne. It was just an easy game. As we have a look at the major ball winners, well, Adam Trelaw, he has to get the three votes, surely. Although Jamara Hagen, I'm sure, will be in the mix with four goals. 
but Adam Trelaw had three goals along with 13 disposals. He had a ripping game. Let's have a look and see. Who's the player of the match? Yep, you betcha. It's Adam Trelaw. Stefan Martin in the votes. And so too, Jamara Hugo Hagen, and rightly so. So there you go. What a game from the Dogs. Two wins, one loss. Let's get to Mars Stadium now. Big game coming up against the Brisbane Lions. Here we are at Mars Stadium Ballarat for round four. My beloved Western Bulldogs taking on the Brisbane Lions, who aren't going so well in this uh, career mode. They've played three games for just the one win and two losses. They've won their, their, sorry, they've lost their last two. They won their opening game against the Swans. As we have a look at the Dogs team, no changes to the team that beat North Melbourne. And there's the Brisbane Lions team. They've got the regulars, Harris Andrews. Jared Lyons is just performing superb in real life. Here we go, Mars Stadium, Ballarat, round four. Come on, doggies. Let's get another win and make it three wins, one loss. Out of four games, my ball inside the Brisbane Lions forward 50. Joe Danaher's taking a mark. Gee whiz. And he's got the goal too. So Brisbane have the opening goal at Mars. Oh, nearly marked. Here's Wallace. Wallace! Levels the scores, kicks the dogs first. Good to have Mitchy Wallace in this team. But the Brisbane Lions are away here. Big kick in the direction of Danaher. Who easily beats Cordy, I think it was. Directly in front, should kick his second here, Joe Danaher, and he does. He's a big boy. I saw him live on the weekend at Blundstone Arena. He is a big, big boy, Joe Danaher. Danaher could mark it here. No, good spoil. Oh, no. In fact, that's not a good spoil. Lincoln McCarthy picks it up and goes bang from long range. Brisbane have another. Wood runs onto it. Nice handball to Dale. Dale's got a lone man four to the footy and Aaron Norton who can pop it over the top here. He does to Wallace. How did he not mark that, Wallace? He gets it back, though. Jamara. Jamara. Oh, Got the kick smothered, but it's a high tackle, so he's going to get the free anyway. So lucky. Come on, Jamara. Had a good game. Kick four against North Melbourne. He kicks his first. Deep in the first quarter. It's gone through. Trelaw has snuck it through. What a goal that was. Thank you very much. Aaron Norton not dropping that at all. And this to extend the Dogs' lead to seven points. It's a good-looking kick. It's through. Back in the middle. McInerney, that was a good punch to Lyons, I think it was. And the kick... Lands in the hands of Charlie Cameron, who plays on, kicks it towards... Goal! Joe Danaher with the fly! Goodness me! What a mark! Over the top of Bailey Smith, if you don't mind. And this for goal number three for Joe Danaher. He should kick it. He should kick it. He does! Big kick inside 50 for the Lions. We're just scrambling to try and get it out here. And we run successful and Charlie Cameron boots it home. Brisbane inside 50. Oh, you're joking. Here you go, the dogs. Eastern Wood. Over the top to Dunkley. McRae on the move. Norton chimes in. Back to McRae. Out wide to w Wallace. Couple of bounces from Wallace. Should kick this. Come on. Come on. Come on! Here's Daniel. Still going, Daniel. Handballs to Norton. Norton to a one-on-one. -on -one. Bruce! Brucey, Brucey, Bruce! One-on-one. -on -one. Takes a mark. 
this to put the dogs back in front. Pretty good game right now. The dogs had the lead by a point at half time. 6 1 37 to 6 straight 36. Here's Lions. Sends in the direction of Cameron. Bailey Williams just couldn't get the fist to the ball in time. Now dogs with the footy. We lose it. Charlie Cameron makes us pay. Brisbane have got a free kick from a tough angle. Oh, he's got that. He has got that, Lincoln McCarthy. Of course he does. Should I take on the man? No, I'm going to kick this long. Norton, Dunkley, one-on-one. -on -one. Virtual beats Wallace. Oh, we can get a goal out of this, though. We do! We do! Dunkley! He goes Wood. Still going, Wood. Oh, gee, that kick was not good. Oh, Charlie Cameron! Siren sounds! What a mark! This for a two-goal lead at three-quarter time. I can't watch. Gee, this is a good game. This is a really good game. More enjoyable than the, than the North Melbourne game. And Charlie Cameron has banged that one through. It's a two-goal ball game in favour of the Lions at three-quarter time. Big last quarter coming up. Oh, what am I doing? Danaher's got four! Oh, risky kick from the Lions. Bon and Pelly got in the way. Although Birchall comes away with it. Brisbane have numbers everywhere. Robinson, he has a man all alone. Over the top. Oh my god, he dropped it. Daniel. To Wallace, who takes off. Over the top, beautifully. Go, go. Go, Dunkley. Bruce! Yes. I'm going to take the shot. I have to take the shot here because I need a goal. I need a goal. Josh Bruce. Tough kick, this one. Come on. Come on. Good on you, Joshy Bruce. Come on, the doggies. Back in the middle. Martin beats McInerney in the ruck and then kicks it forward. No one could mark for the dogs. Tackle applied. Another tackle applied. Ball slips out. Chance here for McRae. McRae! Oh, Jesus. Here's Norton. Still going, Norton. Still going. Still going. Over the top. That's beautiful. To Stefan Martin. This to make it a five-point ball game. This is going to go close, I reckon. It's going. Come on, the doggies. Here we come. Here we come. Come on. Oh, good spoil, Norton. Go, Dunkley. Picks up the scraps. Come on, we need to go here. We need to go. Martin. Here goes Trelaw. Oh, the siren's gone. What a game. And again, it was a missed opportunity that cost us the, lo the loss. That Dunkley shot towards the end. He kicks that, we win. But Brisbane beat us in Ballarat. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh my god. So the dogs, they lose by four points. 9 to 10, 161. It was a great game. Oh jeez. Let's have a look at the major ball winners, the goal kickers, Dunkley. Well, he got a fair bit of the footy today. So too, Robinson. Look at how good Danaher was. Four goals. McCarthy and Cameron with three. The only multiple goal kickers for the Dogs were Wallace and Bruce. Eugle Hagen couldn't kick a bag in this game. 
Let's have a look at the player of the match. Stefan Martin, gee, he's getting a fair few votes, isn't he? Charlie Cameron and Joe Danaher also make up the votes. I personally would have given best on ground to Joe Danaher, but that's just me. But, gee, we probably should have won that in the end. We probably should have won that in the end, but not to be. Not to be. Let's put the disappointment aside now and have a look at the ladder after four rounds. So Geelong, they're the only team undefeated in the competition. They're four wins from four games. West Coast are in second, followed by Melbourne, Collingwood and Carlson. Those three teams are four points off the top two. Then the Western Bulldogs in six. Fremantle seventh and rounding out the eight is Richmond. But then you've got St Kilda, Essendon, Hawthorne, Brisbane, Adelaide, Port Adelaide and North Melbourne. Only outside the eight on percentage. So a close competition at the moment. Thanks for watching episode two of the Western Bulldogs AFL Evolution 2 Coach Career Series. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, be sure to check out uh, all my other socials. I do plenty of content on Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok as well. Uh, you can also buy a cameo off me as well. Uh, all the links are in the description below. Enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend. I'll see you next Thursday for another episode of this career series. But until then, catch you later.